Hi, my name is Amos Mbuki and this is the Tech City News Update. On the news today, TikTok may be fined for failing to protect children's privacy, Photowave enables Google Pay for African businesses, and WhatsApp create features similar to Zoom and Google Meet. Details after this. Recently, Tech City reported the government of Ireland slammed a $402 million fine on Instagram for mishandling data of teenage users on its platform. TikTok is next to receive a similar fine for similar reasons. As the UK government said earlier this week, it could impose a multi-million dollar fine on TikTok after finding that the short-form video platform may have violated children's privacy. The potential fine of £27 million or about $29 million follows an investigation by the UK's data privacy regulator, which found that between May 2018 and July 2020, TikTok may have breached UK law by processing data of kids under 13 without parental consent. In a statement, UK Information Commissioner John Edwards said, we all want children to be able to learn and experience the digital world, but with proper data privacy protections. Companies providing digital services have a legal duty to put those protections in place, but our provisional view is that TikTok fell short of meeting that requirement. In response, TikTok said, while we respect the ICA's role in safeguarding privacy in the UK, we disagree with the preliminary views expressed and intend to formally respond to the ICO in due course. Elsewhere, Africa's leading payment technology company, Flutterwave, has announced Google Pay, a mobile payment service, as a payment method on the Flutterwave platform. As part of this collaboration, Google Pay will serve as an additional payment option for merchants on Flutterwave for business. This collaboration will offer safe and seamless payments as well as convenient checkout experiences for customers. Google Pay will help users make contactless payments in store and also payments in app and on the web. With an average transaction completion time of three minutes, this integration is slated to reduce cart abandonment rate for businesses on Flutterwave. And before we go, WhatsApp is making it possible for as many as 32 people to join a video chat at once, as well as simply click a link that makes it easier for people to join audio and video calls with just one tap on the phone screen. Mark Zuckerberg also announced that WhatsApp is already testing group video calls with up to 32 people. Currently, the number of people who can join group video calls is limited to eight. When the 32 person video call increase becomes available, you can speak to a large group of friends, family, and coworkers without any restrictions on the time duration, like Zoom's 40 minute time limits on free accounts and Google Meet's 60 minute time limits. And that's all on the Tech City News update. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye.